Hi, today we are taking one more problem in variations. This problem is also a slightly difficult problem, slightly, very slightly difficult problem. In this problem, it is said if six men or nine boys can reap a field in eight days, in how many days will eight men and six boys will reap the same field? Here, the field is a constant, so the amount of work over here is constant and number of persons employed will determine the number of days it is required to reap the field. If we employ more people, the number of days required to finish the work will be less and if we employ less number of people, so the number of days which will be required to finish the job will be more. But here we are given one relation. In this problem statement, it is said that six men or nine boys can reap the field in the same number of days, that is eight. That means the working capacity of six men, if I write the capacity of one man as M, so six men, the working capacity of six men, that is six M, is equal to the working capacity of nine boys. If I write the capacity, working capacity of one boy as B, 6M will be equal to 9B. So this is the relation between the working capacity of men versus boys. So let's find out the value of the working capacity of one boy. So if we divide both the sides of the equation by 9, we will get 6 by 9 m equal to b which is the working capacity of one boy b is the working capacity of one boy and in the left hand side we have a fraction which can be simplified if we divide both numerator and denominator by 3 we will get 3 2 is a 6 and 3 3 is a 9 so working capacity of one boy that is b is two-third of the working capacity of a man, right? So this is the relation. Let's keep this relation in mind and now proceed further. We know the time required, that is the number of days, is inversely proportional to the number of men, right? This means days required is actually equal to some constant k divided by number of men right so this is our formula so now let's use this formula the statement is saying let's refer the statement again the statement is saying that eight days are required if there are six men. So if we put those values into this formula, this particular formula, we will get this equation. And from here, we can find the value of k. If we multiply both the sides of the equation by six, we will get k is equal to eight multiplied by six, that is 48. So this is the value of k. K is equal to 48, right? Now, what they are asking is, how many days will eight men and six boys will reap the same field? So we have to find the number of days. Let's assume that number of days required will be X, right? Will be equal to K by number of men. Right? But in this particular case, we have men or boys both working on the project. There are eight men and six boys. Right? Six boys will be equal to, since one boy's working capacity is two thirds of a man, so the working capacity of six boys will be six multiplied by two by. 
three ones are three, three twos are six, that is four. So six boys will be equal to four men, right? So how many total number of men we have? Total number of men will be eight men plus six boys. Six boys are equal to four men. Total number of men at work will be eight plus four, that is 12, right? So from here we will have number of days, that is x equal to k, that is 48 divided by number of men, which we have recently found as 12, right? This can be divided by 12, 12 ones are 12, and 12 fours are 48. So the same job, if they employ eight number of men and six number of boys, can be finished in four days.